All right. I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. What's happening, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with an adventure that I started by sort of by accident. Um, I got to go to Largerspur, whatever, some orc stronghold, and they're in trouble. They need help. I'm supposed to deliver a, a Daedra heart and some troll fat. And as you can see, these guys are being attacked by dra dragons. No, they're being attacked by giants all the time. And so if it wasn't for the fact that the giant is being distracted by other people, I wouldn't be able to take them down. But you meet a woman by the name of Atub, which really is an interesting name, and she asks you to bring the troll fat and the Daedra heart to her so she can perform a ritual. Well, now that I have these things, I'm going to bring them to her so she can perform a ritual. And you will learn more about how much trouble the tribe is in once I go through and talk to a tube and we do the ritual. I will stay right. Excellent. Now, you must come with me. You become a part of this. You must be present for the ritual. Just fast forwarding a very long walk to the longhouse. It is time, Yamars. You bring an outsider here, and now insist I call on Malakath for help when he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Uh, fine. Let's get this over with. Now we begin the ritual. Great Malakath, we beseech you, aid us in our time of need. Why are we bothering with this? You pathetic weakling! What's that? Malakath has heard my pleas. He speaks to us. You dare summon me, Yamars? What? What is this? You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. You're weak, you're small, and you're an embarrassment. You let giants, giants, overrun my shrine. Bring me their leader's club as an offering, and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken, Yamars. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. I want a word. This is all your fault, you know. I'm stuck fighting a giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going with me, and you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Thanks to you, I've just been issued a challenge in front of my whole tribe by a Daedric Prince, no less. I can't ignore that. I didn't say I wouldn't fight the giant. I just said you're going to help me get to it. Meet me outside Fallowstone Cave. You clear the way to the giant for me, and I'll make sure you get paid for it. Now you know what this curse is about, and you just basically gotta follow the guy, Yamars, to the cave. It's a really long walk, and I don't feel like fast forwarding, so I'm just going to cut to uh, where we get to the cave because there was some other interesting encounters while I was fighting and following. And yeah, like I said, I'm just going to cut to the 
part where you meet Yamars at the cave. If there's a chance this will save me, then I'm taking it. I'll leave. Let's just get this over with. Let's get this over with. Okay, now you gotta follow Yamars or walk ahead of him. Gather up some of the plants and stuff around in the cave because it's pretty big and there's lots of giants. Now, you're going to want to avoid the giants unless you are at a really high level because they will kill you very quickly and you have to fight the main giant. And I got killed several times fighting the main giant until I came up with a strategy that involved getting to an area where they couldn't get me and shooting them with arrows. The giants would retreat, then I'd have to step out and shoot them. I'll just let you see. I'm going to fast forward through the rest of the journey here. Now you saw that we left a giant alone and he didn't attack us, but now you got to fight a troll and in order to get to the main area. Either a troll or it'll be bears. You have to fight them. You can't walk past them. For the large part, though, if you avoid the giants, they won't hurt you. It's when you start attacking them is when the giants will have an issue. And this leads to the main cave, giant cave, where you will have your discussion with Yamars. All right, I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. Fine, then wait here. This should only take a second. As you can tell, Yamars is not really a good guy. He's kind of skeevy. And it's kind of fun watching him get easily killed by the giant. But at this level and aptitude, my character is now going to wind up getting killed by the giant really quickly. Ah yes, that satisfying getting launched into space attack that for some reason the giants always do. And this happened for a couple of times before I realized, hmm, maybe I need to do something different here. And so I'm going to cut to where I did that different thing. All right. I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. I'm tired. I haven't slept well in weeks. You kill the giant. Bring me the hammer. We go back to Lagerspur. I tell everyone I did it. You keep your mouth shut, and I pay you. Handsomely. Fine. Then wait here. This should only take a second. It involved arrows and moving to a place where the giant can't reach me, which is right here. Now, I'll head back and shoot the giant, and I'll have to keep doing this for a little while. You watch Yamirs get killed, and you shoot at the giant a couple times, and you hit him, and now you run up, and I'm running to this area to hide so that the giant can't reach me and shoot him with some arrows.
I keep having to play cat and mouse, hide and seek with the giant on this, get him to lure out, shoot at him, and then go back to my hidey place here. It works. I mean, it would help if I had been a higher level with better armor. Unfortunately, I did what I did, and I'm playing this like a normal civilian would play, not someone who has actually learned how to, um, how shall I say, exploit the game and exploit certain things. I would have ebony armor, and uh, I, pro I probably would be level 30 or 40 by the time I decided to complete this mission, and I could take on the giant dual wielding, and he wouldn't do a lot of damage to me. But that is, again, my choice. I'm playing this like someone who just bought the game and loaded it up and is kind of doing missions and not really thinking ahead, but realizing, oh, wait, I got to find a way to just defeat a giant who creamed me and sent me into space. And that is eventually what I do. And then Moloch talks to me. Yamaras was a fool. Always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. But you took care of him and the giants. Two problems solved at once. Now, take Shagro's hammer back to Larnishburg. And we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. Down near where the giant has a fire, there is some interesting stuff and a master chest. And then this actual cave is pretty neat to explore. There's some orconium ingots, and it's, or not ingots, but um, piles to mine so you can get orconium um, stuff to make ingots. You know, again, very interesting, very nice place. I'm probably just going to fast forward through the rest of this once I show you the master chest, which is right over here. And again, you can take your time and explore the area. There's not much here worth taking, so again, explore the area. I was a little over encumbered. There's an orconium ore, ore vein around here and around this other area behind the altar and other area. So again, just explore around. It's actually a really nice place as far as having things. So I'll continue to fast forward to the next encounter that I'll explain. Okay, this giant I passed up on, I'm going to start a fight with him and see where it goes from there. But I'm going to try my flee and hide somewhere to where, yeah, I, I better run. And the area I know where I can hide is up here. There is a tree that's fallen. And what you can do is get up here and get away from the giant and shoot at him. He will flee. His buddy will come and help him. And you got to do this back and forth, cat and mouse, lure the giants, and hope they don't hit you. Okay, I wasn't far enough back, and the giant did hit me, so yeah, that hurt. I'm going to have to heal up and keep fighting this giant, and there's a reason I'm doing this. Giants usually have some decent treasure on them. One of, that, one of the most decent things is a giant toe. And that is good for crafting an alchemy and making some very powerful potions. 
Plus, they usually have pelts. They might have some crappy weapons. Now, the giant that I picked on, he was over here. And there was a orc helmet here, which over encumbers me. But I'll move forward to where the giant had been hanging out. And he came to help his buddy after I picked on him. Now, this area has a hidden chest, or semi-hidden chest, right here. And it's a novice locked pick. Not too hard, very easy. I broke a pick. That's why I say always have at least 100 lock picks, because you're going to break a lot until you can get your lock picking up. Now, let's see what this has. Oh, 62 gold, not horrible. But the Potion of Plentiful Healing and Wolf Pelt, eh. Now I'm going to level up and then explore this cave. And I've leveled up to level 21. So that puts me at a solid level. And where am I going to spend perk points on here? I kept perk points. I'll probably, yeah, I'll level up the heavy armor area maybe. Well fitted. Tower of Strength. If there's anything else around, like I said, I'm going to do a level up here. I decided to do the well fitted after looking at all my options. And the Tower of Strength also. Now, yeah, this these caves are actually wonderful to look around, and you gotta find certain hidden things. There's none in this cave that I found in the past, so I'm just going to fast forward through everything and show you how to exit this cave. The exit to the cave involves going where the bear and troll were and taking a right, and there's this area. Once you can get up, there's actually a treasure chest nearby where. You can get some sort of decent loot, but I'll try and sh do a quick save and show on the map where, yeah, it's right kind of not very good location. You can't see any detail, but you walk up this path here and you get a good view of the cave overall. And you get a pretty good view here of that stone altar monument thing and some other stuff. A bird flying below you. And then around this area is a treasure chest right here. And it's an apprentice lock. You can break a pick. Yeah, I did it. But once you open it, there's some other stuff. And all you got to do is follow this path to the end, jump off, and cross the river to where you had actually entered and exit the same way you did and this part of the quest is complete the ways of the mystic are known to me but what of your Mars? I see. He did not survive. He... He died well. Ah, that is good to hear then. Your Mars was a coward and a weakling. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. So he has been punished. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You, place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. It is good to finally know that Malakath has not forsaken us.
The hammer is converted to a Daedric artifact called Volendrung. And it's actually not a bad artifact if you are interested in wielding two-handed weapons. But now I'm going to take care of tanning and making some stuff for my character because there's some nice little things around this stronghold, like a tanning rack and a forge and an alchemy place. You might be able to buy some stuff from some of the people. I don't know. It's Larger Spur is a little different than everything else. But I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. If you like this particular video, hit the like button and leave a comment. I publish four videos a week, and I've been doing it so far. Um, if you don't want to miss out, Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you will be notified when I publish videos. As always, thank you for stopping by. Guess it's all set for the feast. Is there something I can do for you?